four B. All right. So we're at four B of the what um, May 2017 paper. What it say? It show two lines. The, the graph below shows two lines. L1. You have L1 here. And you have. Let me make sure I have everything set up here. L1 and L2. L1 here. L2 here. It says the line L1 intercepts L2. Ready. The intercept the y axis at 0, 1. 0, 1. All right. When x is 0, right in the middle here, and then 1. When y is 1, go across, going up, I should say. Then it says L2 intersects the x and y axis at 12. You go out to 12. 0. Right here x equal 12 y equal 0 and 0 6 when x is 0 and y is 6 ready respectively the first question what happened to my question I want back my question I'll put my question right up here and move this box back down good i can answer my question now calculate the gradient of l1 and l2 hmm interesting we see what happened here l1 we want the gradient that means the slope we know it's going to be a positive gradient because it runs from lower left to upper right as you go in the positive direction that means to the right along the x-axis the line rises so the gradient is positive so what happened here now I want the gradient I notice first of all you know the gradient sometimes they refer to it as M is hmm, let me is rise I want to write rise divided by run rise over run so let's see between remember form a right angle triangle here between this point hmm, my line is not so straight I want straight lines anyway let me try and make it straight but my line is not so straight well you, you see the point between here and here the run how much does it run it run from 3 to 6 so the width of this run is 6 minus 3 it runs 3 how much does it rise it rise from, rises from 7 up to 13 13 minus 7 is what so you have 6 so the thing is it rises 6 so remember this is the rise so for l1 the gradient is rise which is 6 over run which is 3 and that give you 3 into 6 2 so the gradient is 2 but what about l2 the gradient m is same rise over run but we want to find out how much it rise and how much it run between any two points I want a right angle triangle. My right angle triangle. Uh, let's see. Go to here and go across. It go across right here. So the rise from one to five. So you know it's a difference of one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. So the rise is four, and the run eight. Rise over run. Four into four. One time four into eight. Two. So the rise over run is half. So the gradient of line two is half. After that, determine the equation of line one. Hmm. Interesting. So. 
I want equation of line 1. You know the general form of the equation is y equal mx plus c. Here, m is a gradient. We know that m is 2 already. So is 2x plus c. But remember now, c is where the line cut the y-axis. So line 1 cut the y-axis right at 1. So the equation is y equal 2x plus 1. Good. So the equation of line 1 is that. So this is the answer for part 2. Then part 3. Let me move my question 3 up here so that I can see it. What is the relationship between L1 and L2? Give a reason for your answer. Alright. I can start to see it already, you know, that I remember that when you have Ah, by the way, hold on. You know, line 2 has a negative gradient because guess what? Oh my. Guess what? It runs from upper left to lower right. As you go from left to right, the line falls. So line 2 would, gradient would be negative half. Not positive half. Negative half. So this is equal to a negative half. So line 2 gradient is negative half. Now, back to part 3. When two lines are perpendicular, the product of their gradient is negative 1. Remember that. They cross at 90 degrees, the gradient multiply to give you a negative 1. Now, line 1 gradient 2 multiplied by line 2 gradient negative half give you negative 1. So, therefore, line 1 and line 2 are perpendicular. Reason? Because the product of their gradient is negative 1. So, that's it for now. I will see you later.